Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a first impressions look at the Ozbot Tiny. This is a smart AI-based webcam that has pan and tilt functions, which can automatically find your face or an object and follow it around even as it moves across the screen or in the room because of its motors, which is a pretty neat concept, not only for, uh, for example, video conferencing, if you're trying to do a bit of whiteboarding and you're moving across the room, no longer do you need someone else to physically move the camera around. This device can just follow you you. could also be nice for podcasts, for vloggers, for anyone that does movement without relying on a second person to be shooting the footage. Now this is not the first time that this company has made a product like this. They had a first-gen device called the Osbot Tail, which is a more expensive camera that has a better sensor, has optical zoom as well. The Tiny, as the name implies, is just a miniature version of that. However, it doesn't have a built-in battery and also relies on the software side to be installed on your computer this time instead of on the camera itself as a dedicated unit. But it is very compact. You can put it onto the top of a laptop. You can also put it onto a tripod, for instance, just to follow you around. You can use it if you're also live streaming, if you're teaching something, and again, just follows you very smoothly using a two-axis gimbal, kind of like a home security camera. But the motors here are a little bit faster in their movement, as you can see there. And overall, it's still a pretty smooth experience. Recognizes gestures, so you can put your finger like that and it will automatically zoom into your face. So the resolution is technically up to full HD, up to 60 frames per second. Built-in microphones also claim to be noise canceling, so it will pick up just your voice as you're talking into it. And inside here, we have just the Osbot Tiny here right on top. Here's what it looks like. We'll take a closer look at it in a moment. Some protective film on the lens here that we can peel off. Other things in the box include a dock that uses magnets to stick onto the base of the camera like so. So on a laptop here, there's a sticky pad that you remove that you can also peel off and then pop off again, just sticks on like that. And then the camera here just stays onto the top. And then we have just a USB Type-C cable for connecting it to your computer. This will also work for power, so you need just one cable. Alternatively, for some reason, they also give you a power adapter, which uses a proprietary plug. But again, just using the computer's USB plug is enough to drive and power the camera already. However, the Osbot Tiny, I believe, does not come with a built-in Wi-Fi or Bluetooth chip. So if you are disconnected by USB, you aren't really able to connect it wirelessly to your smartphone or anything else. Really the only feature that I would like to see maybe in a next generation model is the ability for it to have Bluetooth or Wi-Fi baked in. So you can also use the camera and control the software from a phone. Uh, that would be really cool to see. Base is made out of a aluminum metal, so it does feel pretty cold to the touch. We have a soft touch rubber feet on the bottom here that prevents the camera from sliding around on the surface. We also have that standard tripod mount if you want to put it onto a tripod instead. And on the base here is where we have the Type-C port and that proprietary power port. And that is pretty much it. There is a strip on the front here which is actually LED and will light up when the camera is turned on that tells you the status. For example, if this light here turns green, it means that it's detected you successfully and it's currently tracking you without any problems. But if it turns yellow or red, for example, it means that it's lost you and you have to try to reset and put yourself back into the frame. In terms of the setup, it is pretty simple, but you have to go to their website in order to download the drivers for the camera for the first time. And once you are connected by USB to your computer, again the light here will turn green, it will say the Osbot has been detected. What you're able to do here is basically control some of the smart tracking features of the camera that will then be activated regardless of what video, chatting, or a conference app that you use afterwards. So from here you can do things like turn on the AI tracking, it will start to then try and find you in your face. So if it's found it successfully, it will kind of find you, and as you move along, as I'm kind of moving across the screen here, you can see it starts to track and move, and always try to point at my direction. I can move a little bit lower, and you can see the camera there still tries to follow my face. Finally, there's also pan and tilt, which you can start playing around with just to see if the camera is working if you aren't in the auto mode. So we can do a quick demo of that. We can turn off the auto tracking, and from here I can just tap on the pan and tilt, and it will just move by itself, as you can see there. And that motion here is pretty smooth without really any issues. I can also, again, pan it up and down in terms of the camera lens. Also is working quite well. If you accidentally knock the table or something, or if you are uh, trying to keep the position locked at one angle, it will still keep on pointing in that direction. 
direction even as you're moving the body of the camera as you can see there. So that gimbal is very similar to smartphone gimbals that we've seen before. It keeps the footage looking as smooth as possible. We can also bring up things like if there's any firmware updates for the camera that are available to push over. Uh, you're also able to take a look at things like turning on or off the gesture controls. So again for zooming in as well as for stopping the auto detection uh, pan and tilt. And once those things are set up you can then start other applications like Skype uh, or, or Teams or Photos, uh, anything that uses a camera. And from there, it will just be using now this camera with the tracking capabilities turned on automatically and controlled using the driver over here. Now, the process of recognizing the camera after you open up a software like Teams, for instance, requires a little bit of fiddling around because by default, your laptop will still be using your built-in webcam as its primary camera. So in order to disable this camera and select Select this one as the primary camera that you want to use, opening up the control panel of your computer and then searching for connected webcams. You can see we have a built-in webcam on this Xiaomi laptop. What you'll want to do here is actually disable this webcam and activate the Ozbot Tiny camera. Uh, make this as your default webcam. Now here's a sample of what the quality of the webcam is like and as a whole it's quite good in terms of details, sharpness and color accuracy are all decent. Brightness levels are also adjusted to be pretty well. Everything is fairly well lit, no real complaints there. It definitely will be a step up compared to the quality of most built-in webcams on laptops. Field of view is also relatively wide. It kind of feels like an action camera of sorts, as you can see there, because it can get quite a bit of content within one frame um, that you're pointing the camera lens at. With that being said, again, it's not an autofocus camera, so don't expect objects to be super sharp if you're up close, as you can see there. However, if you're decently far away, about a feet or two, it will just look pretty natural. Now, even in slightly darker environments as we turn off this background light, the image quality is still actually pretty decent. In fact, this is where it will be a big improvement compared to the webcams baked into most laptops, which are a lot cheaper, smaller sensors. Because the sensor size here is going to be larger, it allows more light to pass in. So although it doesn't have night vision, it doesn't have a built-in LED flash or IR bulbs, anything like that, even if you're in a slightly darkened space, you're still getting a decent image as well. Of course, maybe details are a little bit softer, but colors are still relatively accurate, and the frame rate is still relatively smooth as we're moving along, as you can see there. So as a whole, definitely pretty good in terms of the image quality as far as a webcam is concerned. Movements still feel pretty smooth, and I'm going to stand up here. You can see it's actually kind of moving along to find my face pretty well. It's unless you're doing something crazy like purposefully dodging behind someone or suddenly moving and crouching. Uh, but otherwise, tracking is smooth and consistent. Gestures, again, it does work pretty well, but sometimes I did find that you have to do it maybe once or twice for it to register correctly, depending on if you are putting your hands out close enough to the camera or far, far away. So as you can see there, that flashing blue light means that it's indicated, it's found the gesture that you've made. After recording footage for more than 30 minutes or an hour, it does get slightly warm at the base. It never gets too hot or overheats or anything like that, but because it's the more motion that it's doing, if it's trying to always track you and you're moving really quickly, it has to use the motors more and that will definitely generate a bit more heat, use up a little bit more power. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on look at the Osbot Tiny, a smart AI-powered uh, webcam that can be pretty effective if you are someone that does a bit more movement when you are video conferencing or recording videos. For what it is, it works quite well, very smart, and a pretty neat little gadget to play around with. You can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.